Hey everyone, this is Mike and today's video is going to be about Lords of Ferminion or more specifically the tournament, how to enter, how to easily finish it as well so that you can rake up all of the rewards. Now if you don't know what the rewards are, one, you're going to be getting a lot of MGP from this, it doesn't take that long either and two, you can also get a really cute minion from the achievements if you participate in four different tournaments and play at least 10 games as you can see over here double digit victories oh well you need to get 10 wins not 10 games but with the tactic that i'm going to show you which a friend of mine was so kind to teach me uh, then you'll be able to get pretty much victories all the time because i haven't lost a single game using this tactic so first of all we got to go over to the minion square over here uh, you can go here from the Aetherite Plaza and then of course teleport to the Minion Square Aetherite. Uh, of course you do need to attune to it first if you do not have it yet. And then we go talk to the Tournament Record Keeper. Now once you've talked to this person you can either enter the tournament or because there's no tournament going on right now it's gonna start later today. Uh, then they'll just show you when the next tournament will be. So that's who you talk to over there. And then you can also check the tournament rankings board. This can be useful if you lose track of how many battles you've done and how many victories you also have. As you can see, I'm on here with 10 victories, which is what you need to get that achievement. So once you've got yourself entered by the tournament record keeper, all you need to do is open up the duty finder, go to the gold saucer tab, and then under Lords of Vermilion, go to the master tournament, of course. The tournament's not going on right now but this is basically what you will be entering with now before you enter though we need to go to the character tab down here go to the gold saucer tab and then the verminion tab and then all that we need to do is go and edit our hotbar and then put both the windup fafnir and the minion of light on there these are the only two minions that we need if you don't have them i'll put it on screen real quick where you can obtain both of these minions but that's all that we will be needing so once those two are on your hotbar we can just exit out of this and then we can queue into the Lords of Verminion Master Tournament using the Duty Finder over here. So because not going on right now, I do still have some gameplay from the last tournament that I'm just going to be talking over to show you how you have to do it. So here we are in the minigame of Lords of Vermilion. The objective is really simple. You have three Arcana Stones, the enemy has three Arcana Stones. We are going to try to destroy the enemies before they destroy ours. Now in the planning phase we get 15 seconds to do some stuff. Uh, I'm going to just quickly explain the loadout over here. So at the bottom you can see how many minions we can spawn in the preparation phase. We're going to be loading this up with all of our Favniers as we can or as many Favniers as we can. And then we have the A, B and the C lane which is basically the right, middle and the left uh, lanes that you can see over here. I'm just going to be spawning them all on the C lane and then we're going to be then we're going to A. So first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be spawning as many Favniers as we can because these are going to be destroying the gates of the enemies. If we destroy the gates they can't send in reinforcements through that gate anymore. So that's basically what our Favniers are going to be doing, killing all three gates so that the enemy cannot spawn reinforcements anymore. After our Favniers have spawned, we're also going to be spawning six minions of light in each lane as well. Now, for the first lane, because the enemy does not really have minions on the field yet, I'm just going to be sending them out one by one. But for lane A and B, I'm going to be waiting for all six of them to have spawned, because otherwise you're just going to be walking them in one by one into an enemy group of minions, like for example you can see over here, and then they would probably just get killed off. Now, outside of this, uh, you can also activate a special ability for your minions as well whenever that is ready which i'm going to do right here for my favniers uh, which the favnir does like bonus damage for like a special attack basically uh, and the warrior or the minion of light reduces the attack of your enemies so it's not really all that useful when they're just standing around here it's better when they're in a group um, but i usually don't really care too much about that i just select them and when the big red button is glowing then i just press the button it's just shiny button press kind of thing so over here as you can see my Fafnirs are just going from gate to gate to destroy it. Uh, the first group of minions of light has almost killed the stone over there on the right. Uh, and then of course we're also sending out the ones in the B lane. They're walking to the middle stone right here as well. And then of course once the first stone has been destroyed and once all the gates are down you can basically send your reinforcements to go help out each other. So the Fafnirs once they're done with gate C are gonna attack the stone at C as well and then once the minions of light have destroyed the stone at A they're going to be attacking the stone at B uh, to help out the other minions as well that were spawned in the B lane as well. And that's pretty much it. You just send out your Favniers to go kill the gates then they help out with the stones and then you also just send out all of your minions of light to the stones and then you just reinforce wherever is necessary. 
so far, haven't lost a single game doing this strategy. I've had maybe two or three games that were really close, uh, where it really came down to a few seconds where I managed to win, but I would say that you have about a 90-95% win rate using this strategy. Again, big thanks to my friend for showing me how to do this. Um, but that's basically how Lords of Verminion works. You just send out your minions, kill the Arcana Stones, and then you win and then you can check on the tournament board how many victories that you need. Again, you need 10 victories per tournament if you're going for the minion. Otherwise, I think 100 points is enough for you to get like a very good payout in terms of MGP. And that's basically how the Lords of a Minion Master Tournament works. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll definitely get back to you. But on that note, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my Patreons for their support and I'll see you in the next one.